Okay, and welcome to Dominate Dunes. As you can see here, we have a new objective. Our objective is to have at least 650 guests in your park at the end of October year three, with a park rating of at least 600. So let's see what we can do. So we'll go over to here. Shall we keep the trees in or not? I'm going to build a nice little merry-go-round to start with, just because I think it's kind of cute to have a merry-go-round. We'll also charge £1.20. Oh, what do I want that path? I might as well just follow the same path as everything else. Um, we'll build a nice footpath. I mean, queue line, sorry. We'll put some nice palm trees in there. Why not? Mm, I don't think the queue's going to be that big for it. So we'll just do that. Lovely, jubbly. Just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who's come over, subscribed to the channel, and also watched all my previous videos. It's been an intense couple of um, days. Um, sorry, an intense couple of months on the channel. We have a load of new uploads and stuff like that. Do I want flowers? No. I want flowers. They look very good, do they? What can we put in here to make it look a bit better? Hmm. Maybe nothing. Maybe just a nice fence. Um, yeah, so as you can see, if you haven't checked out my previous videos, do go and check them out. Part um, one of Roller Coaster Tycoon is on there. And part two is also on there as, uh, well, this is part two. And then obviously you've got Malta on there as well from my trip to Malta. Fantastic area. Um, no, go away. Um, it was a fantastic vlog. If you haven't watched them, do go and watch them because it was a really fun trip out. Um, just an update. I have got Florida booked and ready. Um, and that's that's going to be an really loud, isn't it? Um, yeah, I've got Florida booked and ready. And that's going to be in April. So less than seven weeks away. I am planning on buying a GoPro. So, um, if you are excited for them, do let me know in the comments below, because I can start filming on some, like, on, on the on rides, and that, and that's going to be really annoying, and that music, so I might just turn it off just for the time being, goodbye. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to go out there and experience Iron Guazi, which is, I just know, going to be insane. Um, what else am I looking forward to? Icebreaker should be a really interesting ride to go on. So let me know what rides you'd like me to film on. And um, what parks you'd like me to visit. I'm planning on visiting all of them, but we shall see. I am extremely excited to get out there again. It's been a good three years since being out there. So um, it should be a very, very... Um, good trip i'm going out with a few mates who you would have seen in the vlogs so stay tuned for that if you liked malta and the vlogs we produce from there you most definitely like and if you've ever watched the um did you ever watch the fantasy land vlog as well where i went with dan marks and um, that's who i'm also going with so again stay tuned for that because it's going to be 14 days of pure craziness i am planning to vlog it all so um if you are excited do leave a subscription down below and comment on this video florida 2022 just that because that way i know that you are just as excited for florida as i am and i know it's a bit unorthodox to do it like that but put the price up a little bit it just looks a bit better on the actual can we do that so put some more palm trees in just because that looks a bit better let's open that up now we're going to need a few i don't know if i actually put any mechanics in the previous one go away i don't want to show any help now i don't know if we actually put oh god no i don't know okay. I don't know if we actually put any mechanics in the previous one, but hey, we'll put some in this one. Let's turn the research on 
Oh, it's not different. Let's not search them. Uh, don't need to do that. Don't need to do that for a time being. I mean, definitely not that. So it's just going to max my fund in 400 a month. Now, I don't want this recording to go on for too long, so we will just fast forward it a little bit. Now, this roller coaster over here is insane. And we're only charging £3, so what we'll do is we'll get a little bit more money for that and we'll charge £5 to go on there. So, as you can see, the profit's going to go extremely high now, 6000 per hour. The queue's always big on that. And we've got um, some classical Roman theming. Exactly what I want. Come on, a log to start off. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just build a little crappy little log for to start with. Let's have a look. Do I want it a bit higher than that? Yeah, just so I want it the same height as that, really. So plus two. There we go. It's not going to be amazing. It's just going to be one that goes up and back down, I think. Mm. Mm. Too high for support. <laughs> Lol. All right, let's just do that because it's not that high anyway. We'll do a full park special. And then everyone who's going to be there can just get absolutely soaked. Oh, look, is this really... Oh, I've, I've totally built this in the wrong bloody way, haven't I? Let's just go back around this way. We'll make it come back around and we'll go back up. So it's not the highest drop, we'll just do that. We'll build a bit more of a longer runway there. We're going to run into the same problem here, aren't we? Right, what we're going to do here. Mm. Where do I want my log flume to go? <laughs> right, we'll go here. No, we can't do that either. Mm. Where do I want it to go? Because we've got this. I don't like this, to be fair. We'll just have our big drop here. Like a one drop special. You know, like a one drop special, don't you? And then we'll just be like really boring and just. We'll go up a little bit more so you've got like another little drop. I sort of wanted to go into there, but that's not going to is it? There we go. That'll do. Bit of a vicious ending, but... What are we going to do about it? Nothing. We're just going to test it. Make it go a bit faster, so we can see it go around the track. Let's have a look. That's a big enough spot down, that's fine. All the way around, back up the lift hill. I know it's going to be a bit vicious here, but let's just play that. And it's not too bad, and it'll get everyone here a bit wet as well. I know it doesn't work like that in real life, but <laughs> it's fine. Do that. Don't feel like it's going to be the biggest queue in the world, but we'll put it up to 250. I go, and we'll just open it. There we go, that's our log, little log thing. We'll probably get rid of it at a later date, just for now. Oh, I know that people love go-karts, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the most rubbish little design of a go-kart. Probably interactive with this a little bit, actually, because people will seem to like that. <coughs> Pardon me. So, 
we will build our thingy here like so I'm hoping that we can just go through the land to be honest with you yeah like that and we can go through the mountain then now where's that And then what we could do is we can go through the land and make it a little bit better then can't we because we can make it interact a little bit we'll go up oh I'll just no we want to go one more over so we don't actually delete all them supports now to be honest with you i am extremely excited for florida Iron Guazi looks insane. And it will be my first RMC what I've ever been in. So again, I'm really excited for it. I think it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Um, we will change that down to two laps. I think it's gonna be one of the best coasters I've ever been on. Which I'm quite upset about because I'm in love with Taran at the moment at Fantas Lands. Now it's been absolutely ages since I've actually been on that place I need to get back on it again soon. So the sooner I get back on that, the closer the better. And that's a bit of a way of queue line, but it'll, it'll do. And what we'll do is we'll just put some shots around here. I know that the reviews for it have been absolutely insane. If you haven't seen any of like the previews for it, just look on YouTube and um, just search on Guazi, it looks immense. But then you've also got Velocicoat as well, which also looks incredible. And that looks a little bit better with it being interlocked in with the um, log theme, it doesn't look as bad anymore. <laughs> what have we got? We've got 300 guests um, and a park rating of... I don't know, I'll check that. Oh, yeah, 846, so we're more than above average. So let's speed it up a little bit. And let's see what we unlock next. The Lost Coaster does look amazing. It's basically the same um, concept as um, Taron, Fantas Land, just this subject what goes upside down, which. I don't think I'm too upset about. No, I'm not, I'm not one of them people who are a big fan of, like, say, gimmicks. It just goes upside down for the sake of it. But I feel like this one, it doesn't actually just go upside down for the sake of it. I feel like it's gone in there just to add to the experience. And I love the Jurassic World franchise. Something like that, is it? I love the Jurassic World franchise. So I think it's going to be absolutely insane. Um, and I can't wait to show all the footage from that. Now, obviously, I won't be able to film um, from... What didn't come to me? Yeah, there we go. Obviously, I won't be able to film from Universal on the rides, apart from, obviously, the little rides, because I don't accept GoPros. However, I will film as many vlogs as I can from inside the park, so it will just be like a normal Autumn Tower say, vlog. I can't believe it just compared to one towers, universal to one power towers, so both on completely different levels. Right. Let's get fully level again. I did want to go over a few little things in regards to the Orton Towers video I put out actually. So the Orton Tower video I did put out. Um a lot of people I've heard anyway, a lot of people are saying, oh it's all fine, it's only about I promise you. I think I said in that video is 100 percent true. It's also the part one of maybe two parts. Um, so there will be another part out soon. Just clarifying, I think, again. Um, everything I said in that video is completely true. People who are just, say, let's say, slagging it off, are just people who haven't watched it. And sucks to be them because it was a good video. I mean, it's living proof in the actual video halfway through. That I am on the auto reject list at the least 
forks and towers, which I find hilarious. Um, if you haven't watched my Dragon Mana vlog, oh, let's buy this side, let's give it a minute. If you haven't watched my Dragon Mana vlog, go and watch, not vlog, sorry, video, I do recommend having a little quick peek at that. It's quite a fun video. Again, um, I actually couldn't find a fault with the park at all. I loved every minute of it. I think it was fantastic. Um, we'll give them... Let's get some... We'll just do that. Yeah, I know, because I haven't really built it yet. You can't find the address. But you know, as far as I going to be popular. Um, what's it called? Sorry, I was just like, yeah, I couldn't find a fault with the park. I absolutely loved working there. I think it's a fantastic... Um, park. I love how the photos are confronted yes, and no one's got on it, apart from one person. Um, so, yeah, if you want me to do a little bit more videos on that, like what you think of the park, or what I think of the park, or what I see the park going, I'm more than happy to do that. I mean, you're probably wondering why on earth I am just fast forward, isn't it? Because it's a three year long park. I don't want this recording to be an hour. So, we are just going to speed for it and just build the new attractions as I've gone through. My fairies are always doing quite popular. Pirate ship. Pirate ship in the middle of the desert. Does that work? No, it does apparently. Can I put it here? Oh, I can. Look at that beautiful pirate ship right by. We always have to give the rides a quick test. Oh, yeah. Is this going to be popular? Probably not. But we'll do that. Um, what I was going to say, yeah. If you want me to... I was thinking of a video idea, actually, of a life in a day of a road operator. Obviously, I won't be able to film anything, but I can give you all the details of what you have to do. What you have to do. And I could do, like, in comparison to, say, Orton Towers and Dragon Manor. I can even do a direct comparison to Orton Towers and Dragon Manor. I do feel sorry for everyone in this queue <laughs> queuing next to Splashdown because they're going to get absolutely drenched. But hey, yeah, it's middle of the desert and it's 32 degrees, so why the hell not? I would love to be in that queue if that's the case. And queue. Whoa, look at my spiral slide! I can even fit five guests on at a time. And it's still quite a massive queue. What the hell? So we're in August, we're nearly at the end of year one. So not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Let's have a look. Twist the one has broken. That's this right here. That's fine, that'll be fixed momentarily. My log room is quite popular, but again, it would be in the 32 degree heat. So, yeah. Nearly as well, which is incredible. Ooh, no. Which is incredible, nearly at one million overall views for my channel which I think is absolutely incredible so I want to do generally say thank you to every single person who has come over and watched even one of my videos here all out and you're probably wondering if you look at my actual channel why how is it on a million when it's only showing 211 I actually unuploaded, unpublished a lot of my videos, so overall I have got a million, nearly a million views, I'm on 800 and, I want to say 22,000 overall, so I know it's still got a long way to go, but every single view counts towards it, and it's absolutely incredible that I'm, I'm that close now to hitting a million, I don't know what I'm going to do at a million views at all, I think it's Phenomenal to even think that I'm nearly there. I've also gained quite a few subscribers over the last couple of videos. So I want to say thank you for everyone who comes in there. I know it sounds stupid for me to keep saying thank you. But I do find it amazing. Let's put some big trees here. Because we're not really doing anything from the side of either. So we're nearly in. It will go up to October. I know that. And then it will flick into the new year after October. One million views. That's it's Mini roller coaster. I'll just put like a, I don't want to put a cold one in because it's not exactly cold, is it? I think like dreamy chariots just not included. Scenery. I'll put this up here. Too high for support. What about over here? Ooh, it fits in quite nicely here. 
Mm. Quite the first one, didn't it? But then the entrance makes it so long over there. Do I really want to? Hmm. I can't put it there. Just because that little bit's too high for support. I hate this massive hump. It's that massive hump in the middle of a bloody theme park. Oh, wait a minute. Autumn bloody towers too. How far back can I go with this? Because I'm... No. Oh. Why is it too high to sports there or not there? Oh, I could put it there. I might like close it up a bit there. I could do that. Oh, let's do that. Let's come out to... Four pounds, just because. Yeah, that looks good. I know the key for this is going to be absolutely ridiculous. So what I'll do is I'll just do that. Go over. Oh, oh. We'll go over the splash bound. Give people a bit something to look at. And then what we'll do is bring it up to there. And then people can get onto it there. And then the exit. Oh, God. I'll just follow it. Might as well just pretty much stay at this level. Oh, yeah. It's not going to be the most pretty as a park. I'm just, my aim is to complete all this as much as quickly as possible. So let's see if people like my new roller coaster. I spent six grand on it, which I think in real money is about six million, I think, I just found right. So I think every thousand is a mil. So in terms of the park itself, I'm actually making about a million profit each year. Which is a bad. Put a lovely little coaster by the looks of it. And I've just made a new junior coaster. So can I put another little kid because mango muncher? I just thought that was funny as a kid. For the obvious reasons as to what you'd call. Can I make this like a little kid coaster corner? I don't really want to build my own. Can't be bothered. It kind of looks like I might have to. I don't really want it. Mm. I haven't really got the money for it yet. So, we'll wait until I produce, like, maybe if I just research some more fill words. There we go. Because I think a few more fill words will get it through. I'm nearly at 600 guests. And I'm in March year two, so I'm getting there. The key for this is probably about six hours long. Now it's in the middle of the desert, so the park's not going to look that pretty. So I could turn up the price on this because the profit's quite high. I'm making about a million dodgings. Everyone loves the dodgings. Fun fact, I actually used to operate dodgings at Drought Manor. Not a ride what I thought I'd ever operate. <laughs> ever. Um, can't say I fully enjoyed it operating the dodgings but can't say I've already hated it you're probably wondering why would you hate operating the dodgings now I'll tell you why I hated operating the dodgings because you had to move all the cars why is that doing that because you had to move all of the cars manually which is not too bad on a busy day because obviously the park isn't that busy on a busy day perfectly fine but on a quiet day when the park is dead and you have like six guests and then two guests and then like maybe 20 all come on your ride and you have to keep moving all the empty cars it is a nightmare it's not a bad ride to off right though and um, yeah, all different music to let's say thomas land or the main park so it's not too bad and during the fireworks it's fantastic because um everyone was off the ride and you just watch the fireworks, which is obviously, if you know Drought Man, it's like literally completely direct to the lake, where, um, completely opposite, direct to the, you know what I'm saying? It's directly where they do the fireworks, basically. Which is good. I don't know why I put that so high up, to be honest, but, hi-ho, well, uh, I'm pretty sure I can just bring that round and then what I'll do is I'll just put that there and hopefully I can just connect it onto somewhere around there. 
actually no, it's a bit in the weird. I just want to finish this part because if I'm going to do what I say and do it for everything, it's going to be a very long series if I make everything. There we go. If I make everything look really pretty. This is a mess of a path. I'll get so confused if I was like this theme park. But how the aim of the game is just get as much money as possible. I'm going to start getting rid of this loan because I don't need it. I'm wasting pretty much 122000 a month with that loan. So I'm like, let's get rid of that. Hit our goal. We've hit our death satisfaction as well, which is nice. A few dialects are probably doing quite good. I also operate the private ship. Now that's fun ride right? because in the summer, um, everyone can come on it, and you got a nice tan because you're sitting opposite the, um, <laughs> you're sitting opposite the, what's it called, the lake, and you got a right tan. It was great because all the reflection was coming off the um, lake. And you also got to see all the little baby swans grow up. And now you're probably thinking, what the hell, they're the swans. But they're so cute. These swans was. These swans were adorable. Like, I, li I literally saw them grow up from little young. To um, adults. And they were so cute as little babies. Unfortunately, most of them don't make it because it's just the nature of wildlife. And it's sort of sad to see like one day one uh, swan less. And he was like, oh no. But it wasn't too bad. So I did operate the pirate ship. Intamin pirate ship as well. So not the horse swan like you got our Alton Towers. And it was like a proper bad boy. And um, I believe it's also one of the tallest in the UK. I believe. But don't quote me on that. Um, I'm just literally just building anything here, aren't I? I suppose I'd do more investment in Norton Towns ever would. So we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll do that, that. We'll change that from downward launch. So it'll be like Apocalypse. I'm just do a bit of a queue because it's not going to be that massive. There we go. that bad boy up. And we are making a bit of money. We're doing about 400, and, well, yeah, about 400,000 or 400 pounds of profit a month. Is that a month? Per week, oh, Jesus Christ, a week. It's quite a lot of money. How much are we making a year? In a year, I don't know. But we're making about a mil per month, which is a lot. So, hmm, three decent amount. Is that really cost us for a ride? I don't know. Um, a couple of now has to pull it. My park's pretty full. Um, I'll just put it next to this, why not? Spin it around. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's put that there, not there. Testing. Put that there. From my experience, these never get the biggest keys. But in the real world, people seem to really love them. I don't understand why. Okay, so they're not the best rides in the world, but apparently people seem to love them. Make me feel sick. So recently, well last year, sorry, I went on Fly to the Skyline, the new ride at Legoland, and the only flying theatre in the UK. Made me feel extremely sick. And all the way around, I was like, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> not my favourite ride. Um, but I think it's just because I'm not eating, to be honest. So I went on it again and it wasn't too bad. Let's go from Space Rings. Put this here. Oh, look at that right by the roller coaster. Why not? Yeah. Truth to say. 
Look for a pound. I think people seem to love this. Never been on the style of ride before, so I would hate to be in this park. One about how crowded it is. Oh we could just do the exit But also how shit the roads are. Just a few little frame rides. And a park layout's absolutely diabolical. Let's just put a toilet there. Oh yeah, let's just put a toilet there. And what we'll do is we'll charge people 10p for the toilets, just because make a bit of extra money, why not? Oh, people are paying it, Lord. You pay that money. How much profit is this making already? Yeah. What would that be? 2,000 a month. <laughs> I, I, I could do with that. And now we've nearly got no lane to pay off, which will increase our park value overall. And we'll get some more um, handymen as well, because people are complaining about state, which will lower my park value, which will be annoying after all this time if it lowers my park value. Can we circus? Should I put a circus in? I don't want to destroy me any palm trees I feel in the game. There you are, we've got, we've got some room down here. We'll put a circus down here. I don't condone circuses. Now, a very controversial topic. Again, if you made it this far in the video, I want you to comment SeaWorld. I want to know your thoughts on SeaWorld parks. Obviously, they are doing their best to replenish any bad faith people have got from the Blackfish documentary. So my question is, is do you still go to SeaWorld knowing everything that's happened? Now I am one of them people where I absolutely love SeaWorld. I think the rides are really good. I think seeing all the animals is fantastic. I don't condone obviously most of it, but I did go and watch the show, I'm not gonna lie. And it was good. Like I think they were doing like um uh, more of an educational show more than anything. Obviously with these animals we are in captiv captivity. So and we are in captivity and releasing them back in the wild would be absolutely stupid. So I understand that. But it's one of them. You were going not. So let me know down in the comments. Obviously Comment you will, so you know you've got this far, and if you have, then a big thumbs up as well would be great. Um, and let me know what you think. So what we're going to do, we're going to pause the video just for a little bit until we hit the end of March, because I believe that we're going to hit, I mean the end of year three, because I believe that we're going to hit our target, so I'll see you. Yes. Okay, so we are back. And as you can see, I've built a nice little dingy side here. I thought it'd be nice to put it in this little section where I can't really put anything in. She's getting quite big for it actually, which is kind of nice. And then over here, I've built our very own little shockwave. No, I haven't, it's just an inbuilt game. People have seemed to be loving it, and I just thought it'd be perfect opportunity to fill this little gap here. People are loving it, well, people was loving it. People don't want to go in it in the rain, which is, I guess, fair enough, but look at the key for it, massive. So I think we have nearly enough completed this scenario. First of October, just one month to go. Satisfaction is near enough at 8.30 and the guest in the park is creeping towards 1,000 which is nice. Could put a chairlift from over here to over here but there's no point because we're near the end of the game. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you for watching this episode. Nice and easy if you want to see me at part 3 to Relicus Tycoon. Do let me know in the comments below. Again, I want two comments down there. If you got it so far, I want the Florida and the Sea World. That'd be absolutely fantastic. So again, like, comment, and do subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.